Michigan man suing Campbell County for $25 million says he was badly beaten by deputies and correction staff five years ago. Today, the first day of that trial. Our Jared Austin was in the courtroom listening all day. No cameras allowed, but Jared, you were able to tell us what happened. You heard from both sides and a lot of witnesses in the case. Yeah, Nathan Lang is one looking for money from Campbell County, that $25 million number. His legal team isn't going after the individual deputies and correction staff, but the entire county. They say it's because the deputies were not trained properly or de-escalation practices and giving some medical attention they need. Didn't get that training to do that. Now, Ling was brought into the Campbell County Jail back in 2019. This after they found out he was driving in a stolen vehicle and had a felony warrant out for his arrest in Michigan. Now, police say he was combative when officers tried bringing him into custody. The lawsuit says when Ling was in the jail, he was beaten up by deputies in the intake room and left without medical attention for several hours. When he was checked on hours later, Ling's legal team says he had a collapsed lung, multiple facial fractures, a broken arm, and traumatic brain injuries. And then that brings us to today. Ling's attorneys bringing several witnesses to testify. One of them was Justin Crabtree. He's one of the three deputies mentioned in the suit. He says he wished he would he would have handled this differently. He doesn't remember having any training on de-escalation and wishes he could have been trained for this. Another witness was a former correction officer that night. He says they didn't have much hands-on training for all this, but they did have some paperwork to fill out before starting. He also wishes they could have done a little bit more to help out Ling too that night. All right, how long do we suppose this trial is going to go, Jared? You know, the judge is really hoping for the end of this week to be done by Friday, but the legal team for Ling has several witnesses. They said right around 27, so we could see this spilling over into next week as well. Now, one thing I note that the defense attorney actually brought up, Nathan Ling is not in Knoxville for this trial. He's actually back in Michigan. Ling's legal team is just saying that he has permanent brain damage for what happened in 2019, and he's really not able to handle the stress of this trial. Jared, thanks.